friends welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Sheila and we're doing an autumnal fall reading vlog which I'm very excited about make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you're keeping up to date with all of the fall content I also do videos on power sheets and planning and work vlog documenting my career as an archivist so make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you're here for the fall vibes because fall vibes so in this video we i want to read two books um we'll get to the second book in a second but i am currently reading the night circus by aaron morgenstern i did a whole like october fall tbr video that just went up make sure to go check that out where we go book shopping i make a whole tbr list we go through the process and there's a little book haul at the end and this is one of the books that i picked up it's about a magical circus in the 19th and early 20th century and it tra it's a traveling circus as all circuses are so we're taken to different places like london and prague and germany and france and there's a lot of characters and flipping through time and there's also a character who lives in Massachusetts so it's just a very good introduction to fall for me it's not like a spooky book really at all but I think the magical element is helping me like transition out of summer into fall which I'm still in the midst in the midst of that transition I think it's more of a mindset transition of summer into fall where I feel like I need to kind of restructure my routines a bit this morning I went to a coffee shop and got a coffee and sat and did some reading which I haven't like gone to a coffee shop and just sat and hung out like since before covid which is crazy so thankfully this coffee shop had like nice outdoor seating and i was able to just post up and enjoy my time and now i'm home obviously and i think i'm going to make some lunch and then we can do some more fall activities in the afternoon i feel like this weekend's like magical for some weird reason because today um, I'm by myself. George has gone out to do his own thing with his friends. So I feel like I'm just like on my own little solo quest. And after living alone for so long and then moving in with George and living together for like over a year, I've gotten so used to 
you know, having another person, having a roommate and planning my life around another person. So I feel like rooted back into my myself now that it's like I have the whole day. I feel so limitless and expansive and magical because it's like cooler out. It's breezy. It was gloomy this morning. I'm wearing a sweater and I'm not hot. It just really feels like fall is here in full swing and I just want to really embrace that and be present within that and that's what we're trying to cultivate in this vlog so we're gonna be doing lots of reading i also think i want to go take a walk because i need to move my body and get some exercise but also to see if we can find any leaves changing check out the fall foliage i can never say that word check out the fall foliage 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 you know what i mean the leaves changing colors ah! I also need to go pick up my book that I ordered that I talked about in my um, TBR book shopping video. So I need to go pick that book up. That is the other book that I want to read this weekend. So we'll wait until I get that and we'll talk about that more. But I want to finish The Night Circus this weekend. I am about halfway through and this book is, a, I think this is like one of the longer books that I've read <laughs> this year because it's over 500 pages. And like looking at it, it doesn't seem like it's that long, but now that I'm like 250 pages in and I still have another like 250 to go, I'm just like, wow, this is, you know, this is a story. And I think it's just starting to get really interesting and the plot is like twisting a little bit and now I'm like really curious. So it's turning into very page turning-esque. I also have this book on audiobook, which I've been listening to periodically, but I just want to kind of, you know, soak up all the actual like reading ambiance experience. But maybe I'll also switch over to an audiobook because it's narrated by Jim Dale and he just has a very soothing, magical <laughs> voice that really is made for narration. So yes, welcome to this autumnal bookish reading vlog and stay a while. So I forgot to mention two things after I just spoke with you and one was when I was at the coffee shop, the people sitting next to me where it, the one woman was doing a palm reading for the other woman basically she was like a medium fortune teller and the chapter that I started to read while I got my coffee and everything was called Cardomancy, which means like card reading or, you know, fortune telling through cards. It just said like fortune teller. <laughs> I just thought it was so like a line. The whole book has like, there's a fortune teller who is in the circus, who is like, that's her, her talent. And she has more of a real, like earthly talent versus like a magical talent because there are people in the book that have gifts magical gifts where they can do magical things and then there are just like normal everyday people so it really is a good cross between those two worlds and like a magical realism way so wanted to share that and i also wanted to pop in some footage from last weekend because george and i went to a renaissance fair i've been going i don't know the how this is like my fifth or sixth time i've been going for many many years did not go last year so the last time i went was two years ago and the le the weekend that we went last weekend was oktoberfest and it was just a good like introduction to october and fall and all of the like medieval fun things and i feel like that whole like vibe matches the whole night circus vibe because I'm like reading this book and they're describing you know what it's like to be at this circus and I was like you know it kind of felt like the renaissance fair you're like walking around there's all these like different activities and events and tents and vendors and shops to go into and food and cider and beer and wine and all these different things so it really felt like a circus I guess but I've never really I've never actually been to a, a circus or whatever you know modern day circuses are so that's like the closest thing to a circus that I've attended so I'm gonna just insert some of those clips here there was like a little bookstore called the scriptorium there that I went into and just looked at some of the books which were very focused on like medi medieval period and his history or historical fiction books so I'll pop that footage in here sprinkle it in and I think that really matches like the overall like <laughs> vibe we're going for in this vlog.
Okay, so I am going outside because we're going to go forage in the backyard for some fall decor because I was just watching Morgan Long's autumn vlog and she talked about wanting to decorate for fall without like buying plastic things or just buying things in general and that's like the wavelength I'm on. I want to decorate but I don't want to support capitalism and participate in consumerism and I don't want to add more things to my like like storage I just don't want to store this stuff so we're gonna go forage in the backyard for sticks leaves I'm pretty sure I can't find pine cones here so we might try and go find some pine cones like when I go on a walk but I just thought that was like a brilliant idea and it's so easy for me because I live you know I have sticks in the backyard so Let's go forage, see what I can find. I don't have like a basket or anything to put them in. So maybe I'll go try and get something or just create a pile. I don't know. We're just, we're just winging this and see what I can come up with. harvest from the backyard. I think what I'm going to do is tie the branches together with some twine to keep it together and I have an idea of where I want to put it upstairs um, and then if I need more leaves or sticks I can just go right out back and get them. So yeah I also found this cute little like garland. <laughs> well It'll be like a little garland. Wouldn't that be cute to just like randomly hang? Maybe if I can find some more of them, um, I could tie them and make a little garland on the twine. We will see what I can come up with. But I think I, yeah, I'm just gonna start here and then I know I want to go to pick up my book at the bookstore and then go on a walk. So I think that is where our afternoon will take us. Sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow only golden 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 things gold hair gold ring
okay, this is the current situation and it, it like looks nice, like when I'm looking at it, but when I look at it through the camera, I, I don't, I don't know. But I know I want to get some like little pumpkins. Um, I think that will also add to the <laughs> fall ambiance. But I like what I did with the little like leaves and the bunch, the stick bunch that I created and put it over the books like this. Um, but yeah, we need some some pumpkins to add to the scene. I still need to get something to put up there. And this is the mess. I had so many books up on my mantle that I couldn't, like to put the sticks on there, I need to obviously not have a lot of books up there. So I need to get a little more creative with that because I just, these are all the books I haven't read, read yet. So I want to have them like visible, but they're not exactly like fall related. So maybe I'll put them somewhere else. And then these are all the books that I've already read that used to be on my mantle that I need to put somewhere else, but yeah. So that is the fall <laughs> decor update. I think I'm gonna go out now and grab, pick up my book, maybe take a walk, maybe go get some pumpkins. I don't know, things could change any second now. But I do know that we need to get some more decor, finish the mantelpiece at least. I know I wanna get some more pumpkins to put around the TV and like in my room and we have a lot of reading to do as well. I feel like there's like so much stuff that we need to do. So let's continue doing it. day today very cozy fall atmosphere and i'm just hanging out it's sunday which is my like rest recharge day and also my like get stuff done days i've been trying to get some reading done this morning which i think i i listened to a chapter on the audiobook in bed before I actually got out of bed. And then I think I only read a chapter and now I had lunch and I'm gonna go get the first load of laundry and I think listen to another chapter on audiobook. And then once I have some time to relax and chill, try and get some more reading done before I try and do some ch more chore 
things. But that's kind of the vibe today, just relaxing, taking it easy. Yesterday, I was not able to pick up the book that I was hoping to start this weekend after the night circus. Apparently, I just I just went without any like email or phone call saying the book arrived because I was taking the bookseller's word that it would come on Friday and I was like, you know, I'm going out anyway, let's just pop in and they said it won't it's not here yet and that I will definitely receive an email when it comes. So, I have to wait for that. I think once I finish the night circus, I'm going to start the uh year of the witching, which I talked all about in my October TBR. I wanted to re read the book that I wanted to pick up, which I don't even think I mentioned because I've been trying to keep it a surprise um, <laughs> until I actually received it. But I wanted to pick up Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, which is a young adult book. And I figured like it would be quick a quick read and I could read that right after the night circus and get like that done like today or this tonight. But works out anyway that I probably won't be able to start another book until tomorrow because I am, what page am I on? I'm on page 322, which is in part three, I think. Yeah, I'm in part three and there's four parts of the book. And I have about 200, less than 200 pages left. So I think if I can get a good chunk of audiobook in while I'm folding laundry, doing my cleaning, and then just when I have time to sit and read. Um, that'll be my strategy for finishing the book today. That's the update. I think I'm also going to make some chai tea this afternoon once I get settled and actually can read a little bit. That sounds good. And yeah, I think I'll also end the vlog tonight and we'll check in when I'm near finishing the book or when I do finish the book to share some of my thoughts. So let's carry on. I have the first laundry to go get and fold, audiobook to listen to, and chores. Cheers to Sunday. expect me to come all this way, did you? Marco asked. No, I did not. It's difficult to hide when you travel with an entire circus, you know. Celia says, you have. Marco says, I tried to, but you left before I could find you. Amelia. 